You are very thorough, Honorable Mega. I should have asked the orc to hit me on the mouth so that you could have kissed me back into the world. Fair damsels only kiss brave warriors. An actor can be many things, including a warrior. That is true, but your privates have fought so many battles throughout the land that I couldn't trust that their bearer wouldn't switch sides as soon as an opportunity arises. Stick with the women who adore you, actor. You smirk. It would seem that Rodario is in good health. You don't need to worry about him. You have travelled far with Jeroon, but you still don't know what is hidden behind the mask. The longer you look at him, the more you believe you can see a weak glow behind the steel face. You're wondering what is hidden behind the mask. You sound as though you know. When I was little, my mother told me about a being, the king of all creatures of Tion and Samusin. It wrestles with the strong and destroys the weak and incapable. His eyes are said to glow blue-violet, and the sight of him is enough to scare off the weakest. All fear him, the son of Samusin. You aren't sure whether the Mega is joking with you. Would she really travel with the son of her god? The Mega leaves you with a meaningful smile. The sight of the undead dwarves who saved you makes you feel melancholy. You knew there were no living fifthlings left. But the fact that they had spent the last thousand cycles as undead makes this truth even more painful. As you approach Nomura, she is lost in thought, massaging her wrists. She contributed a bracelet made of teonium to complete the unusual alloy needed for Keenfire. The bracelet was a present from my mother to protect me from the powers of good. Well, as it would seem, I am on the other side now. I've no use for it. Hopefully you won't become too good. Keenfire can only be wielded by a foe of the dwarves. You smile at her encouragingly, and she reciprocates your glance. Both of you know that the Alpha will always be enemies of the dwarves. You seem depressed. Should we let a couple of orcs through the gate? You expect a quick retort, but Boindil says nothing for quite a while. I have been thinking about what Fracas's vision might have been when he brought together so many different people. Each has contributed towards the forging of Keenfire. We would never have set off without you. We couldn't make it without the craftsmen. We wouldn't have made it through all the orcs without the actors. And finally, the point here will wield Keenfire against evil. We're the best group for this expedition. The only group who can do it. You have forgotten yourself and your brother. You forged a way through row upon row of our foes where others would have given up. Boindil gives you a nod, already half lost in his thoughts again. Dundil, I must ask you for a favor. When you get out of here, let Boindil know that I forgive him for what he did. He won't believe me. You should tell him yourself. The time is not right. Just tell him I understood that he loved my sister just as much as I did. I hated losing her, so I also hated the one who wielded the axe. But I don't want to die hating him. Your confused expression prompts the stonemason to continue. I set off to look for a glorious end to life. The time has come. I will stay here and cover you so you can get away. You don't like the idea of leaving another of your companions behind. You want to change his mind, but he doesn't let you speak. Don't try to change my mind. I made my decision several orbits ago. Thank you for allowing me to prove my worth, Tundil Gold Hand. Several smiths could work on masterpieces of metalworking at the same time here. 
The fifthlings have always been the best smiths, and you can hardly imagine what kind of amazing legendary pieces must have been created on these anvils. The hottest forge in Girdelgard, Dragonfire. The fire is said to originate from the dragon Branbusil, who was hunted by the fifthlings. You are glad that you didn't have to overcome any dragons on your journey, although you know someone who would have been thrilled by the challenge. The Magister Technicus looks up from his work. Ah, Tungil, look what I found. Here. There are narrow steps on the walls of the chimney, and if you look right up to the top, you can see the blue of the sky. Hmm. Very good. That could be our way out once Keenfire is finished. King Gizelbert I and I. I still can't believe that I've met you in person. My time passed long ago. Do people still talk about me? You think for a moment about how to answer. Many blame the Fifthlings, and thus their progenitor, for the extent the Perish land has advanced. Your name is not forgotten. The nod of the King's head is barely noticeable. The beasts are preparing to attack! You look at the solid iron doors and their fittings, which are protected by the runes of Vrakus. Didn't you say the furnace is safe? Long enough. We will hold the gates for as long as necessary, at any cost, but... You must be aware of what awaits us. On the other side of the gate, the hordes of Teon are slowly drawing themselves together into an organized army. You must hurry, so that all the orcs find when they attack is an empty forge. He stood against the orc without hesitation even though he knew he was no match for it. I was happy when you chose Goimgar, because I thought I knew how much of an artist and how little of a dwarf he was. But he proved that he was more of a dwarf than I reckoned. What will you do when this is over? Do you still plan to go to war against the elves? The elves' betrayal is absolute. They are to blame for the destruction of the fifthlings, and for the death of my father and my brother. I will never be able to forgive them. There was no betrayal by the Elves. I am Glandolin Hammerstrike of the Clan of the Striking Hammers, and I, unlike you, was present on that dark day as the Stone Gateway fell through the betrayal of a Dwarf. A... a Dwarf? It was Glamdalin Strongarm of the Clan of the Strong Arms who uttered the incantation for the first time and unlocked the gate. He surrendered our land to their hordes. He was the one who showed the Elfar a secret path into our tunnels so they could attack us from behind and poison us. We were struck down with a mysterious fever. I don't understand. He was a thirdling, a dwarf killer who stole into our clan and masked himself as one of us to bring about our downfall. He died at my hand, but he rose again at the power of the perished land and uttered the secret words a second time. Did you hear that? It wasn't the elves, it was a dwarf. How much do you believe in Bisloper and his proof now when there's a dwarf standing here who was witness to it? You look at Balandis's sweaty skin, her muscles, and her hair. When you become aware of what you are doing, you stammer. Um, can I help in any way? I think the knot is coming in. She indicates to her back with a short nod of her head. <clears throat> she smiles at you radiantly. Thank you for your help. You feel you're melting in her smile, like steel in the forge. Of course, you're welcome. Keep them at bay until we have forged the axe.
If it weren't for you, it would never have been forged. The axe that will banish evil from Girdlegard. Now it all makes sense. All those cycles of perseverance, of fighting, the agony of being undead. Thanks and honor be to Fracas. Tell the clans that we never gave up. The Fiftlings fought against evil for as long as they could. Here, keep this as a memento. Your gift is too generous. From what I have come to know of you, you deserve it more than any other. Just promise me one thing, Tangdil Goldhand. Rebuild my kingdom once you have freed Girdlegard and driven out the pestilence. Don't leave my kingdom to the creatures of Tion. And if he's with the Firstlings, or in Parista? I tell you, Not On is still trying to crack Ogre's death! We should go back there first! Why don't we ask them? <laughs> ha! Oi goi, little piggies! <laughs> Stop! We've got to question one of them. I knew it! Peggy thief! How did you get into the tunnel? Even the dwarves have forgotten it. We found the way in at Ogre's death. Wasn't hard. In Ogre's death? That's impossible! Impossible! We've taken the stronghold a while ago. Been there myself. We've killed all of your friends. <laughs> they were <laughs> yummy. <laughs> Boing deal! I have seen Ogre's death myself. You could never have conquered the stronghold. Certainly not so quickly. 
think again, Groundling. Was no problem once the bridge was lowered and the tunnel shown us. You're saying that you had help from inside? <laughs> You're not as stupid as you look, Groundling. One of your kind lot helped us. A thirdling. Uh, where is your master, Orc? Where is Nod on? Why should I tell you that, Groundling? The choice is yours. Either you discuss it with me, with Jeroon, or with Boindil. Who's it to be? The master is at Black Saddle. He's going to destroy the Groundlings hiding there. <laughs> the stronghold on Black Saddle? There aren't any dwarves left there. There are. They fled there and the master has surrounded them. It's just a matter of time until... <laughs> this all sounds very bad indeed, Scholar! We must go to Black Saddle. There's nothing for it. If our friends have lured Nod on there, then we have to use this opportunity and strike him down with Keenfire. Ah, there he is! Not on! Come on, let's go. We have to stop him. Namora, stay out of this and defend Keenfire. It is always a pleasure to run into you, Tungdil Goldham. I've been waiting for you and your companions for a while now. And it would seem we have caused you a few losses. This ends here, Synthras. You took the words right out of my mouth. Leave none of them alive. going. We must reach the tower before more reinforcements arrive. Hold it. If Nodon is here, then the Perish Land is here too, and no one wants to confront him again. Oh, what have we got here? The long-lost son returns. I am glad that I met you here. I was afraid the Alf wouldn't leave anything for me. Bislipper, you return to the stronghold of your people, the stronghold of the Thirdlings. Ah, you really are clever. Gundrabor and Belendolin took a lot longer to realize who I am, but then it was already too late for them. I'll cut you into pieces, Thirdling. It's over, Bislapur. If you submit, Gandagar will... I don't care about Gandagar! I just needed someone on the throne I could steer as I wish. War against the elves was the goal. The kingdoms were to wear themselves out against the elves. Then the children of Lorenbur would have had it easy. It was you who murdered Gandagar's father and brother, wasn't it? I would never do anything like that to another dwarf! Ah! 
fool! You have no idea who you really are! This is an historic moment faced with the ultimate evil. The races of Girdelgard join forces. I must pack this down. There's no dawn. We must take Nomura up there, clear the way for her, and then end it, Nomura. The same, Jongdil. We are both children of Lorimber, thirdlings. I am not like you. You open the gates of Ogre's death. You have murdered dwarves. I am not a thirdling. I am a fourthling. Not like me? Oh! <laughs> it is our destiny to avenge ourselves on the others, Jongdil. And in Nod On, we have finally found someone who can eliminate the other kingdoms for us. You have put Girdelgard in the hands of evil just to... No, not just, but precisely for that reason. To finally fulfill our destiny, as our kingdom has tried to do for thousands of cycles. Enough! You are completely blinded. Attack! Yeah! I can't do that yet. Please wait a moment. I can't do that yet. Vile creature. Kill! Please wait a moment! Understood. I can't do that yet! On my way. 
Please wait a moment. Welcome to the I can't future. Do that. Another victory. And good the good is ours. Please wait a moment. Ah! At what? Just die. I can't do that yet. On my way. Understood. Yeah! It can't end like this. At once. Understood. Fabracus. We. I am not you enough. Please wait a moment. Yeah! Yeah! Attack! How many is that now? End it! Understood. Favrakis! On my way. Fire creature! At once! And again! Your demise was, was inevitable! Yeah. Understood. Please wait a moment! End it! Yeah! Make your doom! At what? A victory Attack. for technology! Girdle Guard is ours! There is no greater goal for either of us than destroying the other kingdoms. When they are gone, all of the ranges belong to us. Don't talk as if it relates to me. I set off to stop Nodon and to save the Dwarven Kingdoms in Girdlegard. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I can't be a thirdling. Yes, you are one of us. I saw it immediately in the throne room of the second things. How did you learn to fight so well in such a short time if you hadn't inherited it? Listen deep inside yourself and you will recognize the truth. You will destroy Girdle Guard. You can't stop the danger from the West. Only I can do that. That's why I am uniting Girdle Guard. You haven't united Girdle Guard under you. It has united against you. Your terror ends here and now. Huh? Favrakis! Yeah. The downfall of Girdle Guard will weigh upon your shoulders. You must let me live. No. We will protect Girdlegard ourselves, just like we always have. This is a day of hope and optimism. Nodon is destroyed, and thus the power of the perished land is broken. We only managed to achieve this because the humans, the elves, and dwarven kingdoms forgot their hatred and stood strong together. Can there ever be a better sign for us to bury our feuds with each other? We have protected Girdlegard. Now, the hatred must be washed completely from our hearts. From this day on, we will write the chronicles of peace, compassion, and friendship. 
And here stands the dwarf who we all have to thank most of all, Tungdil Goldhand. You can be proud of yourself. Proud? That I am a thirdling? You've saved all of us. It doesn't matter who you are. The only thing that counts is what you've done. Do you think there might have been a glimmer of truth in Nodon's words? The danger from the West? <laughs> With you by my side, I won't shy away from any danger, Valandis. We share our memories clear and bright We walk as one Our lines are bound together We share fate We share one fate We share Enemy. Enemy. 